Good day, Anna Planners. I'm Shimo Bhattacharya, an Apple enthusiast. I work as a software engineer in one of the multinational company, and here my role is to develop Apple solutions for different uh, clients across the industry. So today I'm here to talk about one of the nicest features that Apple offers to the end user to meet their dashboarding and reporting needs. That is line item subset, and how do we use it to do the filtering on a dashboard? So to do this, we have created one use case where say we have a client and they would like to see their forecast number for a certain financial year on a dashboard. Also, they would like to see their corresponding price information to that forecast on the same dashboard. So for that, we have created one on a plan dashboard screen where you can see we have published a grid. Uh, this particular grid represents uh, the calculated forecast number. Uh, this is the forecast that we are calculating for the financial year on month on month basis and below over here that we are showcasing is the uh, forecast versus last year actual where the column chart represents the forecast number month by month basis and the line chart represents the last year actual. This is a, this is a comparison uh, report that we are giving for the flexibility of the users. Uh, so and uh, here we have a card published which is uh, representing the toggle to see the price. So this is a Boolean uh, toggle button that we have created. So upon clicking the particular toggle button, what it will happen is it will change the corresponding dashboard screen from the volume to corresponding price information. So if you look closely, once I click on this particular toggle button, it will change my dashboard from corresponding volume to its price. So both the grid as well as the chart has been uh, filtered and showing right now the price information that is the dollar information so if i click again it will show me the corresponding volume information like the way it was so this toggle button that we are seeing it's actually uh, a user dependent uh, button so uh, let's say i'm i'm selecting this price and at this time if someone else is uh, logging into on a plan on the same dashboard it's not necessary that they will see the price it's totally depending upon their own selection so whatever they have uh, selected it will show you them the corresponding information so it's totally a user dependent so it will not be impacting for any other users so uh, this is how this filtering works and how exactly I have built it I have uh, written certain steps over here so from the beginning like uh, review the data models then calculate the volume and the price, then uh, create an output module to store the calculated uh, forecast volume and the price. Then we create an input module for the toggle, this particular card for this particular card. Then we create the line item subset uh, from the output module that we created on step three. Then we created a toggle logic using the line item subset that we created on the earlier step and the toggle module that we created. And finally, we apply the uh, the uh, filter logic that we created earlier on the dashboard module as well as the chart. So going to the Anaplan screen now. So on the Anaplan screen, as you can see, this is our data module. So where this data module is uh, holding the information for the volumes that we are getting it from the outside. So just to check it properly, what I will do is I'll just uh, change the view a bit to showcase how exactly it's been stored. So this is our input information that we are loading from the outside. Uh, this is another module which we have that is corresponds to the unit price. This is also loaded from the outside. We'll use these two modules to calculate the forecast volume over here. So this is our uh, actual data that is coming from the actual module. And over here, we calculate the forecast uh, numbers for the future months. This is a straightforward, um, uh, like a normal uh, methods uh, using the offset and the moving some functionality of our plan. So after this, we use this calculated outputs in our output module over here, finally. So this is output module holding the actual value as well as the calculated forecast value and the corresponding price to it. So what we will do is we'll use this output module to create certain LIS for our functionality. So we use this output module over here and we created two LIS. One is the LIS01 volume LIS, another one is LIS02 price LIS, where the volume LIS holds the 
volume line item from this output module which we have to publish in the dashboard and the price LIS holds the price line item from uh, from the output module and uh, other than that we are creating one toggle module as we said so this toggle module is basically uh, uh, just a single module where we have a line item and we have a user dimension because as we said that the toggle will be happening based upon the user who has logged in in the system so we use this toggle module as well as the uh, the LIS that we created and we create one logic to do the filtering finally on the dashboard so this is the module holding the logic to filter where we have two line items volume LIS and price LIS where we have applied like the user dimension as well as the LIS which we created where this line item holds the volume LIS that we created and the user dimension and there is a formula over here written that is if the toggle is not equals to true that means the toggle that we have in the dashboard if it's not true that time it's to show the volume line items and whenever the toggle is true that time it will show you the price line items uh, so the these two line items we create and we use these two line items to publish on the dashboard so now if i go back to the dashboard over here and you showcase the filter that we already applied on the existing module so this is the output module our 01 volume and price so if i go to the filter over here so if you see the filter we have used the same calc 02 volume and price toggle module and we use the volume lis and the price lis line item applied in the euros and we have used the summary method as any so that at any point in time if the uh, toggle is true or false either of it will show the corresponding uh, line item according to the logic so if i exit so as uh, the toggle is not true right now it's showing the volume once the toggle is true it will show you the price so this is how actually we uh, can do this toggle uh, between a volume and the price using the LIS I hope it's clear thank you for watching have a good day